Dr. Anup Hazare from MCURE. I welcome you on behalf of 61st AICOG 2018 from Bhubaneswar. You are watching this interview live on therightdoctors.com. Today with me is Dr. Manish Pandya. Sir is Professor and Head of the Department of Scientific Research Institute from Surendranagar, Gujarat. So, Sir has shared his interest about uh, speaking on anemia in India. Sir, uh, how do you actually define anemia, sir? So many things we come to know about anemia, it's so common, sir. How do you define, sir? First of all, thank you very much for giving me thank second you. chance to be on MQ TV. Anemia is defined by WHO as less than 10 gram percentage of hemoglobin in postpartum period. Right. It affects health of both mother as well as baby and it has got lots of complications. We can talk right. about for anemia days together. Right sir, that's true sir. Hmm. It is the biggest burden today what India is facing sir. Sir, we see a lot of formulations today in Indian market sir. You speak about oral formulations, injectable formulations sir. When we speak about uh, anemia in pregnancy or postpartum anemia sir. Hmm. So, which is the formulation what do you prefer when we speak about oral formulations as well as the injectable ones sir? Uh, let me ask frankly, if you are talking about the oral preparation, a lady who is taking one tablet of any iron preparation, hemoglobin increase will be effectively seen after one month. One month so, you cannot prescribe a oral preparation in a lady who is moderately or severely anemic. Right. For a normal routine pregnancy, you can give oral tablet. But when we are talking about severe anemia or moderate anemia, at that time injectable formulations are available in market in form of iron sucrose right, and sir. nowadays we have got ferox carboxymaltose right, that is a dextran free iron. Yes, sir. Previously when we are using iron sucrose we are very happy. When I was in medical college as a professor in HOD we had done study of 500 postpartum patients Great, that every postpartum lady must have to take two injections of iron sucrose once she get discharged and what we found that there is increase in hemoglobin because when strive is more if you give injectable iron more iron will be absorbed going into the circulation we will see more reticulocyte into the circulation and there is increase in the hemoglobin right sir very rightly said sir because these injectable preparations when you speak about fcm or ferric carboxymaltose they overcome this hepcidin block also and therefore it will be helpful in treating iron deficiency anemia or iron deficiencies sir but uh, do you think there are side effects uh, related to these injections sir uh, that is a very good question to make people fear phobia of anaphylactic reaction to make over from that phobia what we used to do when iron sucrose came in market we had designed a auto dilution dose so what we are doing we will take 5 cc of iron sucrose just take a simple butterfly right, dilute the iron sucrose into 10 cc that is 5 plus 5 of blood right, and in front of the audience we will give that injectant to a lady we will see there is no anaphylactic reaction then i will start my talk on iron sucrose after finishing up my talk i will say that this lady is going home that's how you built up a confidence Absolutely, of sir. your doctors, those who want a fear of iron sucrose. Yes, sir. Now we have got FCM, ferox carboxymaltose, dextran free iron. Only disadvantage is it has to be given in normal saline. Normal saline. Absolutely. Sir. And most important thing is it is a time bound. Time bound, correct. Sir. You cannot put this pint and running over for one hour. It has to be given in a speculated time of not more than 15 minutes. We had done a prescription based study of FCM and it is published in Indian Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology. 535 patients we had enrolled and starting from 500, 1000, 1500 and 2000 depends upon the severity of anemia we had injected. Before injection we had done the hemoglobin estimation and next hemoglobin estimation was done after one week. Right, Surprisingly sir. we will find that after one week increment in the hemoglobin level of that FCM was not less than 2 gram. In one or two patients, we have got increment up to 3 gram also. So, when strive is more, you are giving more iron, ferox carboxymaltose, more right. absorption and there is increment in the hemoglobin. Absolutely. Second most important thing, what alternative you can give instead of FCM? 
that is blood transfusion blood transfusion and nowadays in this world we are not sure that who is coming with what type of disease yes. so we are giving a disease free increment into the hemoglobin of a lady by giving this simple ferrocarboxy maltose within 50 minutes and we can see that how patient is behaving better exactly. number 1 number 2 now there are companies who are marketing 1 gram 1 gram that is 1000 yes sir 1 gram only disadvantage is cost factor but if you compare regarding the complications it is better alternative no adverse effect no side effect absolutely and you can give to every postpartum lady who is anemic thank you sir thank you for sharing that uh, experience sir you being the expertise uh, in this uh, topic sir it was pleasure to have you here sir and we look forward again to associate with you sir thank you thank for you. your time thank you thank you so much